much views to be had here but loving the vibe of this forest absolutely loving it at last there's no echo here but there are bears a lot of bears i've been born by the people they are not going to ballu get attacked by the Although I haven't found any good photos right now, but one thing that's very crisp about this location <laughs> it's the fresh air. It's quite intoxicating. <laughs> so we're just doing a little stroll finding compositions. I was hoping for I'm going to find a grand vista or maybe some tree but it isn't that it's pretty simple <laughs> I just found these two mushrooms here one is almost dead the other one is still going on so I've just placed my camera here I love uh how if you'll see like because everything around is quite dark and the white mushrooms you know which is quite contrasting two second timer and bam there i have my first shot now i'm just going to move along the way and see if we find anything interesting or just anything at all so far i'm just loving the vibe of this place it's <laughs> It's intoxicating. Howdy. I was about to go but then I thought you know why not to do a vertical composition this standing mushroom so I'm here doing a vertical composition a quite close up one also. I was going a little ahead and I just realized there's a whole colony of this mushroom. If you'll just look this when you're taking you know taking shade in this grass. I'm going to photograph this. Then we have some over there also up there. I'm going to try to photograph those also. So yeah, today's video it's quite minimal. I'm shooting mushrooms. There are no landscape there. There are no landscapes. There are no There's no woodland photography. quite minimal i love it so yeah i'm just going to place my tripod there is going to place my tripod and do a couple bit of more shots that you will see on the screens oh yeah i don't have i don't have proper ground to stand <laughs> i can barely stand over here i've been slipping down But on the other hand, I love this composition. I'm loving this composition because of how dark it is and all the side light that is falling on a part of this mushroom. So yeah, it's quite great. I'm gonna take the picture. I'm gonna move on to another mushroom and keep on doing so with these mushrooms. So I'm at 40th of a second, f 7.1, two second timer. we are in manual focus we are doing focusing manually oops and found these three mushrooms so i went instead of doing you know from up front i chose to do top down kind of a shot it works i like it It's not very fancy, nothing great, not the greatest picture ever taken of the mushroom, the mushrooms. But yeah, I love it. Uh, this video started very abruptly. I mean, and I've been gone for a while. <laughs> when I, you know, uh, when I left home, I was thinking that I'm gonna be. When I left home, I thought that I'm gonna be shooting uh, trees extensively because it's a 
It's a forest. It's a Devadar forest. There are shadow trees everywhere. No, who would have thought I'm gonna stumble? You know, I'm gonna stumble across some wild mushrooms, and they are gonna be my major focus, my subject for the day. And they're a good subject because of all the contrast. You know, create for yourself. Just look at the colors and look at the background. Again, the background. Did not photograph this one. Plus, I don't know much about mushrooms. I don't know if these are edible or these are poisonous. Because there have been instances where people, you know, came out for camping, ate wild mushrooms, they were poisonous, died in the forest. Now there are ghosts, haunts this place. I made that up. So yeah, let's just move on from here. So one more thing, if you look at these trees, these are in a you know line they're following. These are in a symmetry, planted in a line. That, uh, that is because uh, these are manually planted by the forest department. It was a drive that was done years ago, and uh, in the whole for whole lot of, uh, and this forest is filled with these trees. You know that's been manually planted. Plus, it, uh, looking at the amount and the, how dense this forest is, I mean, it was quite a success. Plus this forest is so freaking beautiful. I love it already. Also I'm facing this issue with my camera whenever there is a... Oh, it's not... Yeah, whenever there is a little jerk, it shuts off. Then I have to open it up, remove the battery, put it back in. Switch it off and then turn it on. <laughs> Did I just break my camera? It's not working. Did I just break it? How? No, oh, it's working. Thank goodness. And uh, now I'm gonna put my camera back in, uh, move away from this patch and go towards home and if along the way I find something good something interesting then I might just make a stop take a couple more photos and then I'll do the same make my way back home yeah you know this might just be the end of the video I'm just gonna say it thanks for tuning in this was quite a this video reeked, I mean, havoc. Did not, might not have made much more sense. You might not even like the photograph, but that's all right. But in, in case, just in case you liked any of the photographs, then do let me know in the comments down below. Oh, I'm quite irregular with these videos because I don't go out enough to shoot these days. Been busy with some other stuff. For now I'm just gonna head back home and yeah I will see if there's anything along the way otherwise I'm just this is the farewell so yeah thanks for tuning in thanks for watching bye for now and I will see you in the next one Whoa.